Okay, so welcome to my channel. I am Jenna Neal and this is my vlog. So welcome to the crazy. This is hubby's man cave. I let him do whatever he wanted to the loft. So as you can see, he has his own crazy, his own setup. I let him have at it. I was rarely in this room. It was space, it doesn't have a door. He likes to chill, so his. I never really spent time just sitting around the house. We used to go places all day on Saturday and Sunday, and now we're confined to the house. So I've been looking at what going out all day on Saturday. I mean, literally from breakfast to dinner and running different places is expensive. And how much money was I spending? So I used to go to Starbucks every single day and on the weekend. So going to Starbucks, okay, I used to go to Starbucks every single day. That's an understatement. I used to drink Starbucks twice a day and I used to take my kids there on the weekend. So I was spending roughly 300 to $350 a month at Starbucks. It's kind of easy to do if you're doing $10, so five bucks each time you go and you go twice a day, $10 a day, there's 30 days in the month, and then on the weekends I'm spending like $25. I was paying for the ambiance and the, the atmosphere, so if you consider the fact that I spent many hours, I mean I could sit there for four hours on Friday and Saturday and Sunday each day of me sitting at the coffee shop, that's like me renting a space somewhere. So I got a lot of work done in their area and okay, so I buy coffee or whatever while I'm there. To me, it, the ends justified the means. However, in quarantine, they're not letting me go there and I can't really get my work done there. And even when they shut down and I can't stay, I'm buying these massive large bottles of coffee so I'm spending $100 a month still on coffee. So I decided I'm gonna fix that and try to be better. So I bought a bunch of stuff. So here's my crazy. Hope you enjoy, you know, whatever. Um, if you do, smash the like button, please. It really helps. And if you're not already subscribed, take a chance. It's free, I don't know. Let's see, so packages, yay. Unboxings, Amazon stuff. All right, so we have this one. I have no idea what it is. We got a usable coffee stainless steel. That is great. We're gonna try this. Kind of nervous. It looks super thin. We'll see how it works. Okay, next. Whoa, there's so much stuff in here. Okay, this is not what I thought it would be at all. It is a Chemex filter drip coffee maker. It's really light, really light. It's supposed to be glass. That makes me nervous. Oh my gosh, that's it? And it's not even padded or anything? Wow, they must really think this won't break. It looks so tiny, oh boy. All right, next we got a 12 cups capacity of a coffee grinder. Okay, if we're doing coffee, we gotta have hot coffee, and if I'm pouring it, I have to have a fancy pour system. So it, it supposedly has this really cool spout. We'll see if it works, oh my gosh. Now we have the coffee maker. So in case that doesn't work, I also bought a really cool coffee maker. So my thoughts about coffee, if the pour over system doesn't work, this hot and cold brew system should be able to make me a cup of coffee. We'll see. It says cold brew, but then they have ice in it. Ick. Yep, this is me. Interesting. Whoa, check that out. Now it should look like this, we'll see. So, what is this? Oh my gosh, it's so much tinier than it looks in the picture. How cute. Check that out. It's so cute. I could use this to water my plants too. <gasps> so definitely stinks like. Bleh. This is the one thing I was a little nervous about buying. $80? Who needs an $80 kettle? Oh my god, I like it. I like it a lot. We do tea, so this will be awesome. I love it. This was not the most expensive one. Can you believe you could spend hundreds of dollars on these? Yeah, I'm not gonna spend that much. Comes with a cool container. Got a 
love Amazon. I ordered it like two days ago. And so I think the beans go in there. Fancy, it has a bunch of different features where you can go from high level to the small tiny levels and then it tells you espresso, drip coffee, and then French press, pour over, will be interesting. I don't know, I guess it stores in here. So it can sit on top of my counter. Okay, are we ready for this? Oh my gosh. So the idea was that if that doesn't work, this will. Converting, I realize how much I spend on coffee every month is excessive. I'm buying two cups of coffee at Starbucks a day or their cold brew. It's a lot of hundreds of dollars. And if we're really gonna be home for an extensive period of time, I should invest in something. It's not like I'm leaving anyways. We'll see which one I like. Ooh, that came out easy. This is a lot bigger than I thought it would be. Oh geez. Better use this. Oh my God. Seriously. For how much it costs? Was this a bad idea? I really don't know. So there's different versions of this coffee maker. I got the one, so it's not the most expensive, but again, it's not the cheapest. I got the one with the silver fancy Ooh, container. Hopefully it stays warm in there. Stainless steel, so there's no plastic, there's no glass. So, that's so big, oh my God. All right, and then I have no idea how to make coffee. Isn't that so funny for somebody like me who drinks so much coffee? I have no idea. I just buy it at Starbucks. I don't make it myself. So I, I opted for this one because it has a filter right here. I don't like the idea of having to buy the paper, throw away the paper. This, if it doesn't work for the Chemex, it does work for this one. And I can just set it in there and then that way I have two layers of protection and I don't have to throw anything away. So at least this will go to use somewhere. So I don't have to buy a bunch of paper filters and good for the environment, but also um, for my mind and my bank account, so I don't have to buy a bunch. I discovered a few things about myself while in quarantine. I'm sure everybody did, but the good things, the bad things. I drank a lot of coffee before quarantine, so imagine at home working and doing distance education for my children, yeah. I used to buy about two cups of coffee a day at Starbucks. Granted, I did the black cold brew, no ice, or an Americano, so I wasn't spending like the six, seven dollars that I've seen a lot of people do. However, that's a lot, oh my God, that's a lot. So going to Starbucks in the afternoons and I, I've spent all the hours at Starbucks because they have a 24 hour Starbucks nearby, not really but I drive there. I could spend 25 bucks easy at Starbucks. And well, now that they won't let me sit inside, really bitter, I'm taking my monies elsewhere. Since I have no idea what I'm doing, I just bought a bunch of stuff and was like, hmm, we'll try, maybe. Probably a horrible idea. Since I was spending about 300 to $350 a month at Starbucks. Oh my God, you'd think my bank account would be like great right now that I'm not going to Starbucks. I am trying something new. I figure this will pay for itself in like a month or two-ish, maybe, hopefully. So my alternative, not going to Starbucks. Let's see if that works. Whoa, check it out. I had to compensate with something. I started buying cold brew. These aren't cheap. They're actually pretty good. So what, five bucks? I go through about three of them a week. So, at least there's no sugar. Unsweetened, smooth and balanced. It's cold brew, okay? So there's a difference with this. It is brewed for 24 hours. So it's like real just water and coffee. There's nothing in there. So be careful though, because I accidentally got the ones when they deliver groceries. They delivered one that was sweetened. It was really gross, oh my God. And I think it was only like five grams of sugar. So maybe some people like a lot of sugar, but I don't like any of my coffee, so. Okay, so back over here. I'm spending $300 a month on coffee. That's absurd. But I was mostly paying for the ambiance of sitting at Starbucks so I could use their table because that was basically my writer's space. And since I don't have an office in my house, and now that I'm forced to have an office in my house, I kind of created one. So I don't really need to go there, although I haven't really been writing. Coffee helps me write. So we're gonna try this. We're gonna try something different. I bought a bunch of cool little gadgets. 
a lot. And we're gonna try this. And I'm not a big fan, so we've been watching these videos about how to do a pour over, because I have no no idea like researching this and like what kind of coffee do I like okay I'm not buying a two thousand to three thousand dollar espresso machine for my house that's just a little bit excessive so I'm not doing an espresso but what's the next best thing maybe I'll like a pour over I don't know I don't usually drink hot coffee but the cold brew that I'm making it was too much I drank too much coffee 20 ounces would take 24 hours and then yeah it was just too much and the coffee amount was like drastic so I bought some new gadgets I'm going hot it's 120 degrees outside. It sounds like a great idea. <laughs> so we bought some stuff to try. We're gonna try this. We got more Starbucks coffee. And then we're gonna try this Trader Joe's. It's relatively cheap. It's medium roast and they're whole beans. So every time my thing goes glitch, glitch, and it cuts, <laughs> and there's like a pause, and I'm like looking this way or looking that way. <laughs> Welcome to my house. Welcome to my kids. I'm not sure where this vi this part of the video will end up, but <laughs> it will be in Crazyville. <laughs> Crazyville, hello. So after doing some research online, a lot of the things say you have to water the filter because it tastes like paper. It's like ew. So it tastes like paper, and how much chemicals are on that paper? Because that paper was pretty white. It's bleach. I'm putting hot in it. Don't want to taste it, so I bought this fancy thing that I hope will fit. I don't know if it's going to. I don't. I just don't want it to pop out while I'm pouring and then like explode <laughs> coffee everywhere. So this will be interesting. I'm now, laughing. love the internet. Internet says 20 ounces. So I got my new cool pedal we're trying out. 20 ounces of water. Wow, that holds so much water. So put the lid on. All the weird, all of these coffee videos are always super cool looking and well. So let's start after some careful research on some weird websites. It says you want it 205 degrees or 30 seconds after a boil. Nicely open the coffee. Nicely. Nice. Smell that. Whoa, smell that. That's one. So that's two. Three. All right, so I'm putting it in there. Whoa, it looks pretty. Yay. It smells like coffee. It smells like coffee, that's for sure. Okay, we already got it ready. <gasps> just a little bit to wet it. Yeah. Oop, just a little. To wet it. Uh oh, it's already going through. So they say get it wet and then let it bloom let or something. Let it go. Let it go. <laughs> oh boy. 30 seconds. Can you guys count to 30 seconds? One, two. Okay, just kidding. Just <laughs> kidding. Well, wait, 30 seconds. Oh my god. All right, and then they say pour. Ooh, and just lightly pour over the grounds in like weird patterns. Maybe. I don't know. Well, but smells it's, like, it smells like Starbucks coffee. Yeah. It is Starbucks coffee. Yay! There is success. And it's beer. dripping. But I don't know if it's supposed to do it that fast. If I'm going to save money every month and you figure out what I'm doing, it says it's supposed to take three to four minutes. So. I can see where I pour and making like these weird patterns. Yeah. Not cute. Again, not cute. Hashtag comment down section below if you think mommy is not doing well. Oh, thanks. Yay, check that out. <sighs> Whoa, that is creepy weird. That don't look pretty. See? See, now you agree with us. Wow, look at that black coffee. That's way more than a small cup. Well, since I have jury duty tomorrow, this might actually work out good. Mm -hmm. yeah. okay. It's not going to be the worst day of your life because you're going to rain out and you're going to be super sad. Whoa, that's super sick. I made that all by myself. So exciting. You'll appreciate me when you're older. No. no. All the crazy I know. No. I know no. things. <laughs> I, know, I know all I need. I know how to make web shooters. I know how to make a 
lot of stuff. My brain is very intelligent. All right, so now that it's just about out of water, I'm gonna go put this in the garbage. Yeah. I would say both of you love Starbucks. I, mean, I don't like Starbucks, it's just she goes there so many times that I've gotten used to it. So, I don't mind. That is a lot lighter than I expected. This is a 16 I mean, ounce glass, so it, that does not look like what I thought it would be. Maybe I didn't do this right. Look at how, it looks like tea. That does not look like coffee I drink. It is very light. All right, let's yeah, see. Yeah, we go now. Do you think you well, can we're see? We're ready. Our super All right. Here. All right, we got our coffee. We're Are you ready? Same. Ooh, it's hot. All right, it's, so it's well, summer. It's like 200 degrees outside. Yeah. Well, that go. pulls off. I'm yeah. gonna try it in this cup. It looks brown. Yeah. It smells good. Ready? It smells like coffee. Ready? It's gonna explode. But protect ourselves. You're probably going to get sick. I like it. Strangely enough, <laughs> it's weird. It's not black though. It's brown. Probably messed mm. it up. Mm-hmm. I like it. Oh my god! Yay! I can do no! this. I can totally do this. Mm-mm. Yeah. yeah. It doesn't taste like anything special, special. <laughs> maybe, maybe kind of like my americano. Kind of. Mm -hmm. What is this? Yeah, it does taste like the americano. It is rich and lovely medium. So it says it's Starbucks coffee. Oh, it tells you right here how to make it. <laughs> it tells you on the packaging how to make it, and you have to look it up on the internet. So two tablespoons for six ounces of coffee, or six ounces of water. Ooh, so I did make it weak, because I did three tablespoons for 20 ounces. Whoa. Way too much. Told you. So we, but it, it tastes really strong, but it doesn't look strong. It looks very light. But if you think about it, I'm used to those cold brews that are like black. It's meh. It's meh. And here's my it's snowman meh. team. Yay! So I'm so glad I spent all this money and time on these containers. It smells Next. like coffee. Maybe we should try and grind this one. This one is a medium roast. Oh, it's the exact same. <laughs> Apparently I like that kind, but it's... <laughs> Welcome to my house. Welcome to my mess. We're crazy. Welcome to my kids. So we're busy. <laughs> yeah, she's not busy though. And we're interrupting her busy. I'm not busy I kind of like this. It's probably really late to be drinking coffee though. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> it's good. Okay, I really like it. Now yeah. we're going to try it again this darker because they want to really taste the coffee. People like hate on Starbucks, but I spend hundreds of dollars at Starbucks a month, so they're obviously the doing worst. something right. So what should we try next? Should we try hot brewed coffee? Hot brewed yeah. Hot chocolate. Hot yeah, hot chocolate. chocolate. Yeah, hot yeah. chocolate. Try make it. Okay, how are we gonna do that? We could do a pour over hot chocolate. Yeah. Do we even I I try to make? So All right. So we have it seat. on, we have it on, and we're gonna make a cups. And then there's classic specialty, cold brew sounds cool, over ice, rich, and classic. So I think I wanna go rich because I like it hot really chocolate. dark. What happened to the hot chocolate? We have to get hot chocolate first before we're gonna do hot chocolate. Oh, we need to get some hot chocolate then. Fancy this is. Whoa, it's check that out. <gasps> it's super fancy. I like it a lot. Oh my god, okay. So I have to put the water back here, and it looks like I put the water to here. So it even tells me where to put the water, which is pretty cool. This is like made for people like me, water. <laughs> and then it tells me how much coffee to put in here. So I pull this out, and then, ooh, check that out. Do you like the house? It's almost done. So we check this out. Yeah, it tells you how many scoops. So since I want a small cup, it tells me right here, two to three, small to extra large. So we'll try three, see if it works. Wow, check that out. I'm not really sure how. There we go. Ooh. One. House. Really? That's it? One. Okay, no. No, no, no. Oops. No, no, no. You broke it. We are doing three. We're definitely doing three. Well, it said for an extra large, but 
three. Three. Ooh, check that out. Whoa, all right. Now we gotta put our water in. Put my cup in there. So we're doing a small. Let's see if it works. Oh my god. Let's see if it works. Ready? Okay, how do we start? Yeah, I've watched the I guess that's it. That's all I do. I just push all you do, you just press the button. I just press the button. Look. I press oh, do you hear it? Whoa. That sounds like pterodactyl. That scared me. But that noise kind of scared me because it sounds like a dinosaur got oh, oh, sick and it was like It did. It was, it was steamy. Back it was back to far. Do you smell it? No, it sounded like a Wow, this is super loud. Well, definitely don't leave it under the cabinet. It will melt my cabinets. <laughs> Does it smell good? It smells like Starbucks in here. Yay! I like the smell and it's cold in here. It's not, it's why. No, it's cold. I'm hot. <laughs> oh, that smells so strong that it's literally going in my throat. I, I hope know. this I doesn't know. overflow. That would be an epic disaster. A really funny YouTube video, but an epic what? mess if I overflow my cup. Oh, yeah, that'd be funny. Play <laughs> to the people of your life. Super the cool. Internet. The internet. And it sticks right there, and then this comes out from my crane. And look, it even tells me when it's over. It's super cool. It's like you can see even the water droplets. I'm like so fascinated by it. Forget the coffee. I'm more excited about the machine. That makes no sense, but okay. It's so much fun. Okay, now let's see coffee. Oh, and it has this. Oh, look, that was super little. Wow, they aren't kidding about small. All right, so let's see. Uh, I'm not the only one that needs attention. Oh my god, we're going nuts inside our house. Yeah, we're going nuts. <laughs> like, yeah, we're just like, like. Oh, this one smells so much better than the other one. I think the other one just needs to be darker. I used three scoops. That's a lot, isn't it? Yeah. I used the rich feature on the actual coffee pot on the Ninja, and I like it so much better than the three scoops on the pour over. So of course I like the more expensive machine. It took, it was a lot faster than waiting for this guy to go, but I, I had a lot of fun playing with this in my kettle, so it probably will work between the two. I don't know. I have all these toys now to play with every morning. Yay. Or afternoon. It's afternoon. I shouldn't even be drinking coffee right now. I'm just like, <gasps> Okay, well that was fun. I decided, oh, this made me feel so calm and like, I could just sit here and relax. This is really? awesome, I love this. I'm just a coffee drinker. Just well, drink. you're a parent, you can drink coffee whatever time you want. <laughs> yeah. I'm a parent who needs a lot of coffee. A lot of coffee. So thank you for spending the time with me and my crazy. I hope you enjoyed this video. If you didn't already hit that like button, please thumbs up. Really appreciate it. And if you're interested, subscribe. It's free. Yay. Welcome to my crazy. I need more coffee. Like there's not enough coffee to go around and deal with all the crazy in the world right now. So I don't know, whatever. Okay. Hope you like this video. Thank you until next week.